Welcome to Lesson 2 in Science. Why do plants need roots and stems? Along with their leaves, plants need their root and stem systems to live and grow. How Roots Help Plants The root system of a plant is often below the ground where you cannot see it. The roots hold the plant in the ground. Roots take in water and materials called minerals from the soil. The roots also store food made by the plant. Many plants, such as carrots and dandelions, have a large root called a taproot. The taproot grows deep into the soil. The taproot stores food for the plant. Have you ever tasted a carrot or a beet? If your answer is yes, then you've eaten the taproot of a plant. And here's an illustration. Down here is the growing tip of the root. And water enters the root through the root's hairs. Here's a root hair. Water and minerals travel up the root through tubes to the stem and leaves. And here's a picture of a fir tree. A young fir tree has a tangled root system. Oh, look at how those roots are all tangled up together. Grasses do not have a tap root. At the tips of roots are tiny root hairs. Plants take in water through their root hairs. Root branches with their many root hairs grow far into the soil to reach water. Water travels through tubes to the plant stem and leaves. On summer days, the root system can be a very busy place. Sunshine and hot air can dry a plant out. The roots must take in water to replace water lost from the plant leaves. And here are some roots that we eat. There's a beet, a radish, taste delicious on salads along with the carrot and a turnip. And here's a checkpoint question for us to answer. How do roots help a plant? How stems help plants? A plant stem holds up its leaves, flowers, and fruits. Most plant stems have tubes that move water and minerals from the roots of plants to the leaves. Other tubes carry food from the leaves of plants to the stems and roots. The picture shows some different kinds of stems. Some stems, called stolons, are thin and grow along the surface of the ground. These stems can grow roots and a new plant. Some stems, called vines, grow parts that wrap around objects that support the plant. Notice how thick cactus stems can be. Cactus stems swell up as they store water. The stems shrink as the plant uses water. Cactus stems also have a thick, waxy covering to help keep them from losing water. This type of stem helps the cactus plant survive in a desert. Here's an example of the stem of a cactus. The stem of a cactus swells up as it stores water. It gets smaller as the cactus uses water. Here's water from roots passes up these tubes. More water makes stem walls swell outward. And water from roots is stored in this area. Here's an example of Stalins. St 
stolons of this strawberry plant are for growing new plants. And these here are the stolons. Parts of some stems grow underground. When you eat a potato, you eat a stem part that stored food underground. Underground stems can sprout new stems from buds, such as the potato's eyes. These parts grow upward and become new plants. Some plants have stems with special features to help them survive. For example, some stems have thorns, spines, or stinging hairs to keep hungry animals from eating them. And the spines growing out of this cactus stem are a special kind of leaf. And here are some pictures of other stems. There's a potato, a vine, and even a tree trunk. And here are our checkpoint questions to think about. How do stems help a plant? How are roots and stems alike and different?